me, sleazy savage. Agent Corgan reporting is ordered, sir. Hiya, sweetheart. You blew it, Corrigan. A two-bit country like Albania, and you blew it. I'm sorry, sir. How would it look if they found out that the SSA boo-booed, eh? Remember that, kiddo. When you get home, I want you to write it down a hundred times. Yes, sir. Ready? Be right in. Let's go, Bright Eyes. Where are we going, sir? Assembly Hall, where you're going to meet all the top super secret agents of America. Dumb, dumb. Helpful. 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 Obedient. Obedient. Courteous. Courteous. Brave. Brave. Thrifty. Lifty. Clean. Clean. Kind. Kind. Cheerful. Cheerful. Friendly. Friendly. Reverent. Reverent. 
Right now, I'm going to skip the jokes. I'm going to bring on stage a man most of you never met. Your boss. My boss. Here he comes, one hell of a straight arrow guy. The number one man in the SSA. Number one. <laughs> Great number one. Oh, oh, really? Uh, this tired old disguise? Well, I, uh, I've worn it for years, you know. Carry on, my boy. <laughs> Deference to... Number one, we gotta skip the cartoons. Kill the lights. Roll them. This is Albania below us. It is right there that one of the most dastardly men of modern times is holed up. Where? We don't know. But you're now looking at one of the few films ever taken of Marshal Markevich, mysterious dictator of communist Albania. Now, we got a hunch that Markevich is behind the problem. No doubt you've been reading about all the important world figures who in the last few weeks have mysteriously disappeared out of sight for God knows what ugly, twisted, un-American reason. Here is the snatch list. The enemy has grabbed Georgie Jessel, Dorothy Lamour, the one and only Colonel Sanders, one of your favorites, Butterfly McQueen. They've heisted Edgar Bergen and Charlie McCarthy, Xavier Cougat, and a few bozos want to believe it, Johnny Weissmuller. We don't know why Markevich has copped all these world leaders, but we do know this. We got to get somebody into Albania we got to bust them all loose. Yeah. Hit the lights. Now, the question is, how do we bust them all out of there? Oh, Mr. Bogey. Not yet, Bruce. I'll tell you when. I'd like to get ideas from each division chief on this. The chair recognizes Thompson. Oh, Blair Thompson, Madison Avenue, undercover. Now, golly, I haven't even had a chance to test market this idea yet, but what I think is that you parachute Bob Hope into Albania. Now, Markeyevich thinks it's a war and he panics. We ship our people out as refugees. Sorry, Blair, baby. Hope is on the contract to the Air Force. Next. Yeah, Lieutenant. We Johnny Wilson. 7B and head of underage underground department. Hey, come off it, grown-ups. The only way you're gonna solve this is to ask Mother. Chief, what are those? Mother likes to think of them as her children. Computer cards. One for every man, woman, and child in America, and all programmed into her video box. OK, doll face, how do we get a super secret agent into Albania to spring some big shots out of there? Say, Chief. Form a pop musical group and get invited to Albania. What do you say, kid? You think it'll work? A pop group playing Albania? My dear adult, it can't fail. National boundaries cannot separate teeny freaks. The Beatles need passports? Pop Rock Secret Agents is a top ten idea. 
Now you heard, Mother Bogey. Now this is your baby. Listen, dollface. What we want is a gang of four. All lucky stiffs are about to get the greatest honor any American can receive. To volunteer to be... a spy. His name is Dennis Largan. He's now at the Omaha College of Feed and Seed. Oh, I do this professionally. Five bucks an hour, seven fifty for police rides, and Blue Cross coverage. But there's and... nothing on your sign. Business is way off. Oh, uh, and um, why is that? Well, I graduated last year with my B.A. in Oriental Philosophy. Have you got any idea what the job market's like for Oriental philosophers? Slim. See much of Charlie Chan lately? <laughs> Our second volunteer. Name, Ray Chippeway. Tumbleweed, Arizona. Nice to have you back, Ray. The experience of returning to one's native homestead is rather innervating. <laughs> Whatever you say, Ray. Papa, look, it's our Raymond. Come marching home. Mm, white man turned son pansy. Third volunteer is A. Michael Miller. Joni? Joni couldn't make it, Steve. Sharks caught her. My name is Beth. Hi, Beth. Make yourself at home. Listen, kid, to tell you the truth, I'm not Steve. Steve's parachute didn't open. My name's Michael. Hi, Michael. There's a quarter on the nightstand. 74, 85. Come on, Mike. I have to get up early for home economics. I'll be right there. A fourth man is a young Negro. Um, colored guy. Afro-American. Lonnie Stevens. New York, New York. And that's why I and my friends always drink Tabor beer. Cut it, print it. That's it. Wonderful, Lonnie, thank you. Thank you. See you next week. All thank right. you, Barbara. Okay, now let's shoot one for the southern states. Ready? Roll it.
On behalf of your fellow Americans, welcome to Super Secret Summer Camp 17. Drop the blinds. Take a good gander, fellas. This will be your new home. This will be a short but enriching period in your lives. You get round the clock training with Uncle Sam footing the bill all the way. Through your efforts, old glory will be able to wave unchallenged over every country in the world. If I was you boys, I'd be down on both knees giving thanks for this opportunity to serve America. Carry on, Corrigan. Right, sir. A.M. Miller, also known as Michael. How did you know my name? The SSA knows your whole history, Mike. Oh, yeah? On July 23rd, 1965, I went to the Flicks in Santa Monica. Who went? Judy Keeler. Blonde, five foot six, no visible scars. You saw a bikini beach party. Ate 142 kernels of dry popcorn and went to the men's room twice, both number ones. Lonnie Stevens. You'll face death. Rescuing dozens of prominent world citizens. You may even get to meet the president. Oh, boy. Ray Chippeway. How, Whitey? We're gonna make a real American out of you, Ray. This is important. So's dandruff. This is bigger than dandruff. You'll learn karate, bayonet, jungle warfare, Mac. You'll be hard, tough, meaner than a green beret. Maybe win back reservation. Dennis Larden. Sir. You. And all of you will learn music, play guitar, sing, dance. You become the best known music group in the world. How does that sound? Like what's made America great. All right. We start tomorrow, 6 a.m. to midnight, seven days a week. You get room, board, and $32 a month to spend foolishly. Sure hope all that bread don't turn me rotten. Have your little joke. But your government is in rock and roll for keeps. Like it or lump it. Gentlemen, on behalf of Patrick Henry, welcome to Democracy in Action. Beautiful. Well, what do you say we all bust out of here? What do you say we all don't bust out of here? Gentlemen, you're about to receive the finest training in the world. The next three months of your lives will be spent with the best instructor in the U.S. Army. Sergeant! Yes, sir. Master Sergeant Clint Walker reporting for duty, sir. Carry on, Walker. Gentlemen, I am here for three reasons. Number one, because it's my patriotic duty to be here. And number two, because I am the man who can give you the best training any man can have. Number three, and most important, I am here because I was drafted. Again. And your training begins right now. Himo! Ooh! Acho! Hey! Who do we appreciate? Gentlemen, my name is Richard Pryor, and I'm here to teach you soul. Hey, man, you don't really eat this stuff, do you? This here's your weapon. And we begin with fingering your basic D7 court. First lesson in 
how to use your brains in combat when facing the enemy. Now, this is a landmine. And many times, the enemy will plant such a mine and then try to trick you into stepping on it and blowing yourself up. Now, for example, if I were the enemy... Hey, Sarge, shove it. Yeah, Sarge, stick it. Walk a girl up. What? I'm sick and tired of this. Wait a minute. Hey, where in the hell do you think... Dismissed. Stiffs. Pass a review. Well, what's the verdict? I've never seen anything so ridiculous. Unbelievable. Freaked out. Cuckoo in all my life. You're sensational. You I'm not too thrilled about. All right, Angel Eyes, we got you, four boys. Now spill it! Come on, give me a moniker for the world's greatest rock and roll group. All right, Trixie. How do we turn these four dummies into stars, eh? Says get Phil baby. What's a Phil baby? He's the most high groovy of all record producers. <laughs> Here's the green, the five thou Phil Baby. <laughs> Phil Baby doesn't touch money. No. <laughs> but I can touch it. I smell greatness here, not only my own. I want you boys to set out on a path of truth. You are my apostles. Purge yourselves. We'll find the truth in the downbeat. Indeed. Oh, well, are no ship of fools. Well. Uh, one slight problem. 
I want that ingrate's name, I want his number, and I want it now. Move it, pussycat. The boys are trying to tell you that they need a song for their platter, sweetheart. Well, calm your head, Fruit Loops. Listen, you fail to realize that I've been working on this epic all my life. And the name of the epic... The name of this epic is What Is Your Sign? Take 743. My mama's Gemini, and they say my daddy was a Leo. And I was born to sing the blues, so I got myself a funky trio. We're down at the Chili Bowl, singing rock and roll. Satisfy your soul, I'm a Taurus Ooh, Baby, what is your sign? What is your sign? Angel voices Don't Stand by the angels What is your sign? What sign were you born under? You tell Down. me alert. How are you, creeps? Let's sell some lousy records.
feeling no pain today I can't seem to fret or worry I wish it would rain today I wish it would in a hurry Cause when I'm unhappy I'm tippy-toe-tappy in my shoe I'm feeling too good today I got some feeling too good today blue Mr. Bogey, my name is James Brown. I've been appointed as ambassador to the record industry of the United States. I'm lucky. Dear sir, the record industry is proud to announce the award of a gold record for the largest selling album in the history of the world to the thanks. Mr. Borgie. Take a telegram to number one. SSA in trouble. Big's album now sold 14 million. Public loves these creeps. Problem? Agency's making a profit? Explain that to Congress. Stevens? Chip away. Or if I can use the vernacular, super secret agents. Tomorrow you're going to action. But the next 24 hours are all yours. Anything you want. Just don't leave the barracks. Urge to roam, an urge 
to take a sentimental trip back home To walk the streets and see the folks I used to know A sentimental journey just to say hello Hello, hello, well, hello, fellas Hey, Jim, hey, Freddy, hey, Jack I waved and shouted hello Outside the door and stepped into the past I walked down my old street and I was home at last The same old picket fence, the same old apple tree I walked right in and shouted, Mom and Dad, it's me How about it? Any more grievances? Visiting hours. It's been six weeks since we even smelled females. Absolutely not. You cannot mix sex and security. You boys can consider yourselves for the foreseeable future neuter. Hey, man, I think our government has just invaded one too many private sectors. I don't like it either, but orders are orders. I'll get Bogey to straighten this out. Honest engine. He had to say it. He had to say it. You've got two choices. One, you do it their way and grit your teeth. It's not the teeth that's worrying me, baby. Or two, you get the ultimate punishment. Now this I've got to hear. We call up your draft board. They give you the shaft. You had to hear it. This is the kind of gratitude I get. Huh? Mr. Bogey, this time we have an honest complaint. We, huh? Listen, Fuzzy Wuzzy, a real man proves his virility with a gun of steel. Chief, this is the first time I've known you to lack understanding. Oh, yeah? Well, get ready for the second time. Line up over here with them other sex maniacs. Welcome to the Peaceless Corps. Well, boys, what'll it be? Pure patriotic bodies or two years of creamed, chipped beef? <laughs> Good 
Good evening. Informed sources in the movie capital report the entire industry is in near panic. The disappearance yesterday of Maureen O'Sullivan adds new heart tugs to the list of world figures lost in Albania, including the mysterious kidnapping of Pat O'Brien, Patty Andrews, and now for the most shocking news of all, hold on to your seats, America, Busby Berkeley and the original Gold Diggers. Ah, Bogey, those Albanians are more stupid than we are. Their Minister of Culture called. They want the Finks for their National Flower Day. Yes, my boy, we've saved America again. And if you don't get those four creeps out of the army in the next 12 minutes, I'll have your ass. Gentlemen, follow me. Gentlemen, your wishes are our command. This is what you wanted. This is what you get. Officers dismissed. Gentlemen, the United States government is pleased to announce an orgy. You dames, come get her.
And then, Albania. Get the Sunday travel section and take a trip. Trip with me, hey, heavy points the right direction. Let's take a trip. Trip with me, let's go someplace, any old place. Let's go some South Sea Island or frozen waves. Welcome to London. You're about to begin the most perilous assignment in SSA history, finding Marshal Mikhaevich and rescuing our people out of Albania. Which explains why we're in London. No, it doesn't. This is where we find out where Markevich is. Which, Which explains why we're in London. London. No, it doesn't. Men, we've been invited to Albania. But once we get there, our job, find the Markevich castle. Which explains why we're in London. Yes, it does. That's a secret pass knock. Where's Foxy? What's a Foxy? What's a Foxy? Only the greatest super secret double agent in the world. Supposed to be here an hour ago. I hope the enemy ain't in on our plan. That ain't the secret knock. Don't nobody move. Son of a bitch. Foxy, you always were a slow knocker. Oh, hiya, Bogey. How are you? How's the family? Are the kids all right? Oh, good. It's certainly good to see you again, Marty. Foxy? Foxy, where's the maps? Huh? The maps. I'm dying. He's asking where the maps are. Don't you ever try to find out how a person feels? Foxy, where's the maps? Well, uh, oh, they're tattooed on the tummies of my three daughters. Uh, London, Copenhagen, Rome. But how do we identify them? Well, if you go, I... Who are you? I'm with him. Is he with you? He's with me. Yeah? Oh. Uh, Photographs, lining of coat. Well, so long for a little while, Bogey. It's looking at you, kid. <coughs> well. Some photos. No faces. Boy, I could kill that foxy dime. Just a second. Redhead, five foot three. Bracelet with the word Rosebud. Take over, Hawkshaw. Right, Chief. All right, boys, let's get cracking. I know just how to pluck this rosebud. They say that you're mad. They say you hear voices. Well, that's not so bad. I hear them too. They say that you're mad.
shadow of the moon Where your dreams and your nightmares go Prancing, battle your feet and your bells can soon Out from behind the dark side of your mind Well, that's not so bad, I hear them too They say that you're mad, and my heart rejoices In your feathers and your bells Your beads of bone and painted shells Have cast away the evil spell that dwells One down, two to go. Next stop, Copenhagen. Get the Sunday travel section and take a trip. Trip from A to A. And it points the right direction. Let's take a trip. Trip with me. Let's go someplace, any old place. Yeah. Number 872, right in there, please. Next. Please, just the stomach. Poor baby chick. You know, think of see doctor. But afterwards, will you still respect me? Sure, thing, kid. Respect hell out of you. Sexy redskin. I, I don't suppose you'd agree to a handshake and a hearty high of silver? Geronimo! There's nothing sacred. Oh, kiss me fiercely. White squaw heap horny. Come savage and ravage this pale, blonde, blue-eyed, helpless squaw. Listen, I don't even smoke. I don't want to 
want to. Because of his sacrifice, this world will be a safer place tomorrow. Two down, one to go. Next stop, Rome. Ready, sir. Finks, this here is number one, the most powerful man in the world, we're pretty sure. Am I crazy as this cat wearing a box? Why would he be wearing a box? Especially in the room. Number one has just flown over here with his new device that was perfected in our lab for the purpose of assisting in a search. Look at this. Okay, you sex fiends. I want that map here by five o'clock, or else. Women of Rome, lots of luck.
You know? When I was a kid, I used to stare at that candy jar. There was more candy in it than I'd ever want to eat. But one day I got to it. I gobbled up every piece. And you know, ever since that day, I still dig candy. Oh, I find that a very touching story. Floater 16. Your London map, the Copenhagen map, the Rome map. state of swinging Albania. Greetings at Finks. I, Colonel S. Rostanov, greet you. And on behalf of our beloved Marshal Markeyevich, extend warm fist of friendship. Be good boys and keep nose clean. National flour, radishes, is good for health. You tell everybody Rostanov invite you for flower day tomorrow. Boost Rostanov's image. You get good night's rest at our finest hotel, Comrade Hilton. I see you tomorrow. Lubab, lubab, Colonel. Aren't you coming? Oh, gee, fellas, I wish I could, but you know, rules. I forget. Well, traditionally, one must survive to report what went wrong. Good luck. Men. Hey, Jack Armstrong, where are you taking us? Inside the Markevich castle walls. White eyes taste death tonight. According to the belly triptych, we're directly below the Markevich breakfast nook. And here come the fiend, here come the fiend.
Your Majesty, may I serve you? Thank you very much. Thank you. Madam, is there you? Could you please? Voila. All right, Archfiend, release your captives or lose your life. Ruby, say hello to the Finks. None of your heathen trickery, you fiend. Call me Morty. Wow, how excited Yakov will be. Oh, uh, Fritz. <laughs> Tell Yakov the Finks is here. Yakov is our son. He loves American music. He's a regular nut. Oh, Colonel, get the boys a bucket of thighs. With pleasure, ma'am. Sit, please. Such a treat. You probably all remember my bride, Ruby. She's American. You see there? Miss Goldigger of 1941. For the whole year. To tell the truth, at first I thought you Finks were maybe another trick of Colonel Rastanov's. You don't groove so good with the Colonel. Oh, well, he's an absolute square. <laughs> I told Yakov, he's getting dressed real special. But why have you deviously and hideously snatched our people? Listen to him. So who snatched? Uh-uh, Morty. Well, maybe a little bit snatched. <laughs> Ruby, a dear girl, but a zetzer. She misses America. Albania, now what's it got? This place is crawling with commies. We can't go there, so for Ruby, we bring Americans here. It's that Rastanov. He keeps Mama, Yakov, and me hid here. Tells the world I am the big baby. Even our guests, once they get here, they can't get out. He's afraid they'll blab to everybody that I'm a pussycat. You're the president, aren't you? If you don't like Rastanov, why don't you just get rid of him? Can't. He owns the tank. The fact remains, we've got to get these Americans back to America. Why? Because either we get these people out, or we get drafted. OK, but you got two problems. One, I'm not so sure your people are that hotsy totsy to leave. And number two, you gotta get past that wall. Colonel Rastanov, he's some freak when it comes to that wall. Woo-hoo! Can we talk to him? He's up in his room. Colonel, if you wanted to keep the marshal hidden, then why'd you invite us? This castle not on your itinerary. Now you no leave, you tattle tales. Not me. Him? A possibility. No, I mean, why did you invite us to Albania to perform? I give proletariat what they want. Big election year. I throw crumb to Albania's now generation. You stuck here. You play good at concert tomorrow, I give you run of whole country. Yeah, but not out of the country. No leavings country. Wall is closed. And your mind is made up. Like my tank, loaded. Boom, boom. Yeah. At last, our son Yakov. What's buzzing, cousins? Idiot Wall Street drivel. Go check wall. Go check tank. Slip me some skin, Gangadin. Our son is Commissar of the Rock and Rollers Appreciation Society of Albania. Bend the ears, wound crooners. Now you're here. What can we do for you? You can get us out of here. Us and all the other guests. We've asked them all to be here tonight. Uh, then maybe you can convince them to leave. Great, Mama. Great. Oh, uh, Fritz, our guests are arriving. <laughs> Miss Maureen O'Sullivan and Mr. Pat O'Brien. <laughs> Miss Marilyn Maxwell and General George Jessel. <laughs> Mr. Johnny Weissmiller, Miss Cass Daly, and Mr. Joe Lewis. <laughs> Mr. Leo Garcia and Mr. Hans Hall. Mr. Salvia Cougar. 
in his orchestra. <laughs> Miss Ruby Keeler, Miss Dorothy Lamour, and Mr. Rudy Halley. Edgar Bergen, Mr. Charlie McCarthy, Miss Patty Andrews, and Mr. Louis Hayward. The Lone Ranger and Mr. Tonto. Mr. Busby Berkeley and his original gold diggers. Please be seated. Dear friends, we have with us tonight four darling boys from America. Morty and I would like you to meet the Finks. My fellow Americans, we come to you tonight with a simple message. America needs you. I had a little talk with old Uncle Sam last night And it lasted till the break of day You know the old man sounded a little bit uptight And his voice was trembling when I heard him say You know I peeped out on glory Through the crack of dawn You know my stripes were there But my stars were gone And it nearly blew my mind Nearly blew my mind Stars of stages, green and rainy. Gentlemen, I cannot tell you the emotional impact that this song that the boys have rendered has had upon me, which reminds me of a story that I told at a basketball game at the Friars. Can't tell it here, but in conclusion to you ladies, my visiting hours are eight to five, which are the odds that we'll never get out of this simmus that we're in here. I think Mr. Jessel is absolutely right, whatever he said. Say, Bergen, you know those kids are right. America needs us. 
Well, me anyway. I got a brainstorm. Let's crack out of this creepy joint. Now, Leo. Sorry, father. Ladies and gentlemen, may I recommend for your consideration we all crack out of this creepy joint? It's not that easy. Have you seen Rostinov's tank? Even if you get by the tank, we'll never make it over that wall. I got it. I got it. I'm telling you, I've got it. What is it? Radishes. 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 Ho! Bye-bye, baby. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, on this suspicious occasion... Rudy, are you comfortable? I make a nice living. Just think. All these radishes and no salt shaker. <laughs> Johnny, just in case we don't make it, should we do it just once? I don't know, Maureen. Johnny, please. I'm okay. Me, Tars. Me, Jay. I'm glad to be going home. But one thing in our band they got that I wish they had in the USA. Yeah, what is that, Joe? No income tax. <laughs> yeah, but there's no income either. He must have what we do. Tano, you and I are going to rescue everyone. Mass man brave. When the cart stops, we'll jump out and hide in the shadows. Ah, uh, mass man fearless. And you and I will attack the tank with our bare hands. Ah, uh, mass man loco. What's the matter, Pat? You look so thoughtful. Oh, Marilyn, I was just thinking, if I had to play the other part, I'd be in Sacramento today, and Ronald Reagan would be here. It's all good, school! Hatch new, hatch new, hatch new, hatch new. I waved and 
shouted hello Charles Bar and had a couple of beers. Guess who was in there that I hadn't seen in years? Smoking and drinking, yes, and slipping off the stool. My childhood sweetheart that I used to modify. I can satisfy your soul. I'm a Taurus. Baby, what is your sign? It would end. 